What's up guys, I'm back with a graphics card overclocking video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to overclock a NVIDIA GeForce GTX card. Currently I only have a 660 which is very limited in what you're allowed to do. But you can still overclock it some and I'm currently working on a BIOS unlock so that way I could boost it further but it's kind of a pain in the butt. So there are multiple programs that you want to install at the very beginning before you even get started. This one you have to download, it's MSI Afterburner. This is the one that everyone recommends and I love it. You could also use like EVGA Precision I believe it's called or something like that. But those are specialized for EVGA cards. Another card is, I mean another program is GPU-Z. This allows you to monitor like your GPU clock, your memory clock your voltage, etc, blah blah blah. So first, I'm going to show you how to adjust your fan curve, which is very important if you want to go with a super silent system or if you want a system that revs up really early on so that way it never gets too hot or even close to hot. So first thing you do is you go down here to settings in the bottom right corner of the actual um, bar graph right here. Settings. Then you go to fan, and you can see that you have this basic fan curve. And this is already pre adjusted to what I want because also you don't have to worry about at least a 660 too much because it run very cool. It never goes higher than 60 degrees, I believe. But what you do is you just click on these little um, boxes and just drag them around however you want. And what you could also do is you can click on the line. Let's see, see, you can click on the line, and it will create another one if you want to have it like dip a little or go up a little, however you want it. And to delete it, you just press the delete button. And if you double left click, it will make it so it goes up straight across. And right at that moment, it will spike up, and then go over and spike up, as you can see, instead of just like going at a steady pace it will just spike every time or every place it so that's another thing that you could think about and I actually just learned that right before making this video and then you press ok and that's basically all you can slash really want to do in the BIOS especially if you're using a video card like a 660 but next thing is since we can't adjust the core voltage, I'll just go through everything. Core voltage, you can adjust on higher end graphics cards like the AMD side and the MSI 680 Lightning Edition from MSI. Titan, I believe, you probably can, but so on and so forth. Power limit, this, you're going to want to turn to max, 110%. So that way you can get some extra juice to the card because it actually only takes one 6-pin PCIe connection which is amazing for a graphics card that is this powerful because on almost every game I play on max settings I can achieve over 60 FPS so it's a great card and then you could SLI it makes it even better next to the is the core clock this is what the megahertz this is how on the speed that your graphics card would run at so GPU clock right here and then next is the memory clock, which is pretty obvious memory speed. And then the fan speed is what you would use for your, um, like it for that fan curve, or you could have it on auto, it doesn't matter. And then below that, you can choose your profiles. So I have my stock one, and then my overclocked one. Since this is a very limited card, I can't really achieve that high of overclock yet until I finish this BIOS unlock. So, first thing you do, see, one annoying thing about this program is whenever you put a cursor over it, over anything, that comes up, something like that. But first thing you want to do is just adjust your power limit to 110%, okay? And then next, you'd want to increase something like the core clock by let's say 100 megahertz and then what this is where you would download a um, stability test so I have combustor and it's actually um 
you can directly access it from MSI Afterburner by clicking on the K here. I also have Furmark, which is another high quality one, but I just like using Combustor because it's right there and it just continuously runs it. So you'd run this for about eh, 10 minutes until you start getting the higher clocks when you want to like fine tune it to the smallest degree. But you can see I'm averaging about 60 FPS ish. And then GPU temps are very low because this is a very low heat demanding card. But if you have something, I don't know, your super noise. If you have a much more powerful graphics card or even like a 690 where it has two GPUs in it, then that will make it spike up in temperatures up to like 80s. Generally, you want to stay at least below 80 degrees or maximum of, I would say, 90 to be safe. That's just me. You could go up to 100 if you want. I really don't care. It's your fault if you screw up. See, it's this average is at about a max of six, 56 or 57. Not very high. And the way you know it's stable is that, first of all, you don't see any like awkward colors. Like, like if there's a white splotch right there, if there's like a weird color right there but it all looks pretty even as far as I can tell and then what would happen if it's not stable is it will say the driver crashed and the screen will go black it will come back on don't worry at least in my case and the program will shut down the combustor will and then you just lower your core clock or memory clock whatever and then go from there and you can see here our chart, such as the um, power percent, actually achieved 111%. You going on the um, dangerous edge there. And then temperatures, usage, fan speed, core clock, fan tachometer, memory clock, and memory usage. And then this is literally all you do to overclock a graphics card. You increase this by, let's say that, and then you press apply, and then you press K. And then this will make it all just freak out and then you could see that the average is a little bit higher because it earlier was dropping below 60 and now it's basically right on 60 62 so it's very smooth right now compared to prior and literally you just keep doing this until the max on this these were about the max of the clocks right here that I could achieve on this card I could probably go a little bit further like there I'll just click apply and then I'll press K and then you just let it sit for like a couple hours at least if you're doing like um, very fine edge overclocks then you would start being very careful about it so I hope and hmm, I FPS up here is getting all awkward. I have no idea why. Maybe it's because I'm recording. I don't think so, but maybe. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. And for more informational um, videos like this, computer videos is what I specialize in, if you haven't noticed lately, because I haven't really uploaded any gameplays. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And remember, if I get more subs, that leads to sponsorships, which I really want, okay, and more reviews for you guys, see ya.